guys, Pan here, and today we have another DayZ video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the SKS rifle. Stick around to the end because we do have some pretty crazy PvP action where I end up actually killing two guys. So let's just hop right into it. The SKS is a classic semi-automatic rifle that was designed in 1943 by Sergio Simonov. I'm not going to even try to pronounce what the SKS actually stands for, so I'll just put it on the screen for you guys. The SKS was designed to replace the aging Mosin Nagant as an infantry weapon in the Soviet army. The SKS was directly influenced by the fighting lessons learned in World War II. The SKS reportedly saw some service in World War II, but it was very limited. The SKS was not the first semi-automatic rifle fielded with the Russian infantry, but it was the first to see widespread production. The SKS rifle is less powerful than the SVT-40, which is the other semi-automatic rifle that the Russians made, and the Mosin Nagana preceded, but it's also smaller, lighter, and much more maneuverable. The Soviets were the first major nation to get rid of a full-powered rifle cartridge and settle into a lighter, smaller, lower recoil cartridge. The SKS is fed from an internal fixed magazine that was fed with a 10-round stripper clip. The reason the Russians turned to the SKS is that they discovered that the full-powered bolt-action rifles they issued were just not well suited for this new type of warfare. On the other hand, the submachine gun was effective in close quarters, but beyond 100 yards, it became compromised and nearly worthless. The SKS was a compromise between the powerful Mosin the gun and the fast-firing, easy-handling submachine guns such as the PPSH. The SKS actually didn't see too much action with the Soviet army as they developed the AK-47 and the SKS was pretty much obsolete at that point. To this day, it's actually not uncommon for the SKS to find its way into the battlefield. This is evidenced by the news footage of the Ukrainian Civil War where Ukrainian forces are armed with the SKS rifle. The United States actually ran up against the SKS in Vietnam in the hands of the Viet Cong and the NVA. The SKS was actually one of the most commonly encountered rifle in use with the NBA regulars. The excellent reliability and combat qualities were well noted by American troops. Dozens of accounts make the favorable mention of the SKS and its dependability in the harshest of jungle conditions. Over 15 million of the SKS rifles were actually produced. So now that we have that little history lesson in, let's get to the PvP action which is coming up right now. I actually didn't originally realize that there was a fire going on right next to the barracks, but after I looked at the footage I could kind of tell there was a glow against the wall, so you could kind of see that when I was looking out the window of the camel building. I spotted that guy in the barracks, so I decided just to get into cover because I wasn't really sure how many there were. I knew this guy was going to go unconscious any second, and the only reason he's still up and was able to even fire a shot was because of lag.
I'm not really sure why these guys decided to set up a campfire in pretty much the most dangerous part of the map, but I was able to grab an AKM and an MP5 from their bodies, and I decided to exfil out of the area just in case anybody heard those shots. If you guys enjoy the video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more daily content. I'll see you guys in the next one.